tonight. Homeless people living in tents at Helmand City Hall are waiting for the city's next move tonight. They've been given orders to leave their encampment, but say they don't know where to go or what's going to happen next. Al Sweeney has a story. It's hard to get an exact count, but as many as 50 or 60 people or more may be living in tents behind City Hall, including Montana Leabella who lives with her emotional support dog, Miley, and has been homeless for a few years. I would like to be back home with my family. Like, I'm just too embarrassed to go back home. Like, living the way I am right now, I want to clean myself up for them, you know? But for now, this is her home, as she stretches out tarps to keep out the pouring rain. My stuff finally just finished drying from last week's rain. But she doesn't know how much longer she'll be here after city bylaw officers served notices Friday telling them to leave voluntarily. The officers didn't say what would happen if they didn't go. They basically told us that we had to pack up and leave ASAP. They didn't give us an exact date. Somebody else said Monday they would be coming back. And uh, so we're just kind of it's kind of up in the air. We're just waiting to find out. And it's frustrating because they haven't, they haven't presented any more solutions. And I don't think that setting up a tent should be considered an act of rebellion. In the middle of a cost of housing crisis, they say there's nowhere else for them to go. To be moved around and pushed around without solutions or options or any action, I feel like it's, it's very, it feels very lazy on the city's part. The people who live here say they don't know what to expect next but say the bylaw officers indicated they'd be back here tomorrow following the order for these people to leave. The city has forcibly removed encampments in the past. I had my belongings bulldozed. I didn't think it was fair. I was given no notice whatsoever. The city of Hamilton has since declared a state of emergency over homelessness and has asked the province for more money to help the people on the street. But some city councillors say they're disappointed by the city's order to clear out the tent community without providing options. The city council is due to consider a new approach to tent encampments, but for now, the people camped at City Hall are afraid of what could happen again.